What's going on you guys? I'm the Bro Collector here today with a review on the Japanese Spider-Man. And before we start this review, I'd like for you to hit that subscribe button right there, ring that notification bell, and yeah. So let's not further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. You can see an image of the figure itself. Uh, so, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, there's a nice image of Japanese Spider-Man, or a uh, drawn image. I can't remember what comic this was. this from Spider-Verse? Or is that completely brand new? There's another image of the figure. There's the back of the packaging, says the figure, and uh, all of its accessories. And I don't know what you should. <laughs> And here are all of his accessories out of the packaging. He does come with one web effect, or er, one spider web that we've seen so many times. Two web effects that we've seen from the uh, 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 Spider-Man Mark II, or Mark I. Uh, a little wrist gauntlet from the show that says Spider-Man. And then two hands, and that really pisses me off because I wish it came with at least four sets. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, yeah, we've seen this before many times. It's just cast it in a white uh, plastic. They mentioned that they wanted it in white instead of the web effect. This is from the uh, Amazing Fantasy 15. But yeah, they wanted it in a white as the web from the series looked more of a rope. So they just wanted it to look more skinny accurate. I don't care. Anyway, these are exactly identical. Uh, I had to look for this real quick. I, I thought I lost it, but here we go. Uh, this is the Mark uh, Spider Retro Spider Armor, and this is the new one. Um, as you can see, they're exactly the same. And they have almost a little more problems than this, than the original. I would say they're not as flexible as the original, I would say, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really played with them. I really actually threw that in the jar. I threw these in the bin. Um, the hands, I would say, look really nice. I probably I wish they just gave them more hands because Japanese Spider-Man is a very expressive uh, Spider-Man, especially with hands. Um, had he come with at least two more sets of hands, that being like uh, uh, one of uh, that where he's throwing his web out and then, I don't know. Something else, <laughs> something else. I feel like they could have really done another set of hands, and that would have been perfect. Um, I would have been happy with three, actually. I'm gonna be completely honest. Three sets of hands would have been good, um, and a minigun. Well, you've seen. I'm not. We're not. We can take a look at these real quick. Uh, they're nice. They're brand new, I believe. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll get into it in a minute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. <laughs> Spider-Man. <笑>とうとうお前の正体がバレる日が来たね。Now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Uh, we'll take a look at the head sculpt first. This is brand new. Very nice. I like it a lot. Uh, I love how baggy it looks. Uh, looks exactly like the show. Uh, very nice. I will say that. Um, the orange, I feel like it should have been there as my PS5 turning off. Um, the, uh, the orange, I feel like could have been more red. Um, or the red should have been more, shouldn't be this orange in my opinion. But all in all, I like it. Um, this is a brand new body mold, uh, so that's cool. You can see how uh, you can see a couple of the bag bagginess right there. Pinless joints, that's pretty nice. There's no ass. You, know, you can see a little bit of his cheeks clicking up together. But that's that. Um, <laughs> you can see you get some wrinkles right there, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, all in all, you could probably just pop this head off and then put uh, create a custom head sculpt. Or there's a head sculpt that I was had in mind for a uh, 60s Spider-Man. I can't remember. Or from the 70s Spider-Man TV show, but I don't remember. And he's also got, it's also nice to mention that he's got a different color feet. I don't remember what the color is called. Cream. Cream. It's more of a cream. And yeah, 
the figure itself is nice, but I wish it had came with a minigun, an extra set of hands, that being the flipping hands, or the flipping hands for Japanese Spider-Man, and the, and a couple of and a mask. A mask would have been perfect. Those, at least two of those things, that being the gun and the mask, would have been perfect. Um, throw away one of the webs and just give us a mask <laughs> with one of the guns. Now, take, take away fucking the webs. Nobody cares about those webs. And give us the gun and the mask. Those would have been perfect. But let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. <laughs> Not so extreme possible Spider-Man from the Renew Your Vows 2 pack with Spin and Rack. And I know it was mean to this figure. I mean, I gave it a 7 out of 10. But it's still a good figure in a sense. But does it beat uh, Amazing Fantasy Mission 15? In my opinion, no. Does it beat the retro Spider-Man? Absolutely not. But it's a good alternative, I will tell you that. And here he is next to ba the retro. Ben Riley Spider-Man. Pretty nice. And here he is next to the legendary Pizza Spidey from the Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure Wave. And here he is next to my personal favorite Spider-Man to date, the Amazing 15 Spider-Man. Gosh, this is an amazing Spider-Man. I need to get a third one of these. And no, it's so I can just put him on the monitor, alright? It's not so I can hog him. This guy's my play one. The other one is the one that goes in the, in the, on my wall and in the package, preferably. And, you know, I just need three. And here he is next to the integrated suit from Far From No Way Home. I had to think about that. And here he is next to the uh, Iron Spider. I had to think about that. And, yeah. And here he is next to the Toys R Us exclusive MJ from the uh, All New All Different Spider Man 2 pack. And here he is next to the retro J. Jonah Jameson. I know I always have him in this pose, but I like him in that pose. Trust me. Looks good when he's yelling at Spider Man. And here he is next to the retro. Shocker! Yeah, I just had to do it again. Sorry. Love that. And here he is next to the retro Sandman, which is, again, an okay figure. Kind of a downgrade from the last one, but. Alternative. alternative just, and here he is next to the retro Green Goblin, and I ruined the pop because I tipped over Green Goblin and I tipped over uh, Spinneret, and then Green Goblin tipped over Spider Man. But not Ben Riley. He's still up. And here he is next to one of my, f actually, my, my only black cat, and my favorite um, so far. Uh, the Kingpin Black, or er, I guess Black Cat from Amazing Spider Man 800, or from the Kingpin build for your way. And here he is, next to the Diamond Select Venom, or a Diamond Select Venom. I don't know which version this is, but I got it for Christmas, so a while, like four years ago. And I love it. Um, it was loose, but, you know, I have most of the accessories. And also, this guy looks is just awesome. I love the, I love the Todd McFarlane look. This definitely gets the Todd McFarlane look better than all the Marvel Legends that I have. And here he is next to the last figure I reviewed, the Retro Rhino, which again, I know I gave it a 5 out of 10, but it, it's just an old body mold. Again, I'm just saying, it's because of that reason, it's an old body mold, and it just didn't do it for me. Sorry, uh, I still think, I still think the Diamond Select is slightly better in some ways. Um, definitely this has better articulation over that, but I think the fall I'm still going to go for the diamond select. 
And here he is, next to the Phantom Ranger. And let's be real here, the Blue Centurion is not a deluxe figure. He better come with his bike if he's a fucking deluxe figure. He is not. That is just a regular figure. Alright, I'm just gonna say that. And here he is, next to the Transformers Generations, the tra Legacy... The Legacy Generations? Transformers Generations Legacy? Doesn't matter. Has Lab Victory Saber. And this guy looks awesome. I mean, oh man. I had to push. I, I had to uh, stop playing with him and remember that I had to do a review on Spider Man. But yes, this is the reason why there wasn't a review on Monday. And here he is next to NECA's GMK Godzilla. Look at this little guy, looking all awesome. I'm trust me, I'm trying to get Christmas hats around here, but I just can't get them. So we're just gonna stick with Soda. There we go. And here he is next to Peter Parker and Ben Riley. Um, again, I know he's coming. I know he's coming. <laughs> Now it's time for the next one. We're gonna do this very quickly. Um, I can't do it the way I've wanted to do it, but we're just gonna have to do it. So very quickly, I'm gonna put on my favorite head. I, the, my favorite head that I like on this body, and that is the Captain Universe Peter Parker head. And I think it looks good. It's like an older Peter Parker, and that's that's that looks awesome. But still. I think that looks cool. It's like an older Peter Parker with the Japanese Spider-Man suit. It's nice. Uh, next we're gonna do Tom Holland head from the uh, two-pack. And that looks alright, you know. He kinda doesn't have a lot, a lot of a neck, but just looks slightly off, you know. But looks good. Next we're gonna do retro Peter Parker. That just looks like Ditko, Peter Parker, and actually that looks really nice. I like that. And here he is with the uh, all new, all different Marvel head, also uh, the Renew Your Vows head. Just my preferred version. Just fix him up. Alright. Looks good. Like it. Let's go ahead and give him the posability. So. He can. He's on a disc hinge, so he can look up that high, look down that low, can tilt his head here and there, full 360, uh, no butterfly joints, arms can T-pose that much, full 360, biceps swivel, double jointed elbows, that neat right there, all hands do turn side to side and hinge up and down, ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel, can kick forward that high, back a tiny bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, meet right there, no boot rotation, which is very upsetting, because uh, I would like to have seen boot rotation, but there wasn't, and I s thought there was, but I guess not, anyway, uh, ankles do move up, they do move down, and he does have ankle pivot. And here are my final thoughts for the Japanese Spider-Man. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, I, things that I don't like. All right, let's get those out of the way. Lack of accessories and crap accessories. Um, the webs, web splats. I appreciate a lot, but I don't like them because they're just useless to me. To me, and. Compared to what I thought we would have gotten with this, like, uh, again, the web shooting hands, that would have been so much better. And, uh, again, a Tommy gun and a, a mask. Would have been perfect. I would have given this figure a 10 out of 10 had it, would have, had it had just those being on the same body mold and everything. Had it just been on this body mold and you added those effect, uh, accessories, would have been a 10 out of 10. Would have loved it. But, oh, that's right, 
another head sculpt. That's what I was thinking. An alternate head sculpt with uh, for a, with a 60s head. So, or 70s. 70s uh, Spider-Man. Uh, the American Spider-Man. Would have been nice um, because... You know, the uh, se 70s Spider-Man is really just the Japanese Spider-Man with a couple accessories. So it would have been nice just to get that head sculpt and just pop it on there. Or just get a different second head sculpt. Um, uh, another thing that I really don't like is probably how he doesn't have boot articulate boot. Uh, I'm sorry, calf rotation or boot rotation, whichever you want to call it. Uh, butterfly joints. That's also something I don't like. I wish it had it, but that is okay. Um, initially, I do, I do like it uh, a lot. I do like this figure a lot. And things that I do like about it are oh yeah, the, the paint. I hate. I don't like the red, the the orange paint that they chose. But I guess they wanted something else, which is okay. Anyway, things I do like about it are just the fact that it's Japanese Spider-Man. That's hilarious. I'm glad we got a Japanese Spider-Man, and um, I'd say it's pretty damn accurate. Uh, like I love the gauntlet, the little uh, gauntlet or communicator thing. I don't know what he. I never seen the anime. I know he's got a mech. All right, don't tell me. I know he's got a Spider-Man. But that's all I know. Anyway, I, this figure's great. I'm gonna give this. A solid rating of there's my stupid watch of a seven out of ten. Give I, I know, um, but the problem is that it would have been a ten out of ten. It had it came with those accessories. And that's all I'm gonna say. Really, that's all I have to say really about it. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for a victory saber kind of review. And uh, a couple other things, you know, um, after I get the, probably the Venom 3-pack over with or stop looking at Spider-Man figures for a while, trust me, I'm kind of over the Spider-Man. Spider-Month is almost over, but then we'll take a look at something I've been meaning to take a look at for a while. Um, but go ahead, please remember to hit that like button, ring that notification bell, uh, you know, all that jazz. Follow me on Instagram. Jacob Lopez Oof, The Broke Collector, uh, on TikTok as The Broke Collector. And remember, stay awesome.